I have my bag set up is uh, less stable drivers up top, more stable drivers down here, and then everything here in the middle is a rock. So as far as, um, as, far as drivers go, when I need distance, I go to the boss. Um, so I have two different bosses. I have a, a, a slightly flippy boss and then a, a really stable boss. Uh, these things make holes shorter. I love these discs. Um, and I got a roller, maybe a couple different rollers. Uh, as far as stability goes, most of the time I'm throwing a max. Um, it just, it, it does what a stable disc should do. It does not turn over. I use it for massive headwind shots, big turns, or spikes. Uh, if I need uh, some stability on a longer shot, uh, I go with the X-Cal, and I've got two different X-Cals. Um, they're pretty similar, I just have one as a backup just in case. The most versatile and important disc, I think, in the history of disc golf, rocks. All of these are rocks, and, and I have them situated from most flippy to most stable over here. Um, so I throw these things, um, if it is 350 feet or below, I'm throwing a rock. If I had to play a tournament, if you said, you have to go out and play this course under par and you get one disc, I would choose a rock, for sure. And then I have um, a flippy putter. Uh, that's, I use this for anything unless it's, uh, unless it's windy, and if it's windy, I go with a stable, uh, hard plastic putter. Um, but if I need to really make one, if it comes down to one putt, I'm going to go with my softy uh, and aim right for the chains and try to try to take it down. It's the name of the game. And the big secret is everybody wonders what this pocket on the front of your bag is for. It's for nerds. It's not for your mini. Okay? These are birdie rocks. If you eat these, you will get birdies. And so they put a pocket right on the front. Look at that. Slides right in.